Oh hey people, how the frig's it going today? Today, we're breaking all kinds of rules. That's right, guess what we're about to do? We're gonna have breakfast. I already came downstairs and threw a hamburger patty in the freaking guy, cause I'm gonna make a burger. Gotta eat them, can't let these things go bad. No cheese, no condiments, nothing, just burger bun burger. I'm gonna just fire it in my face, get it out of the way. Today's gonna be probably a full day of eating, for at least two meals. Breaking the fast in the morning, breaking the fast at night. The whole idea is to get the circadian rhythm all friggin' jumbled out. So, bon appetit. Well, I feel like another coffee. So I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna make another cafape. Cafape. Who's my face? Yeah. Oh, just one of those days. We're gonna go to the parents' house today. Like I said yesterday, gonna go for dinner. Mom's making ham and stuff, and it's gonna be good. So I was wrong yesterday when I said that that CCM bike was last year's model. The bike that I was looking at and the one I showed in the vlog was actually by a company called Schwinn. And the one that I showed yesterday that's on for three, 329 clearance is CCM. So it's like two different bikes. Regularly that bike is 529, but it's cleared to go because they want it gone. Bring in uh, room for new models. So that's a thing. To be fair, I'm not even too worried about getting a bike. Like I want one, but when it happens, it happens. The key thing I'm thinking is, as you can see, my backyard, we're getting really close to these raspberry bushes. And you see what I mean? This is the reason why I can't roll a lawnmower back there. There's like fallen trees and broken shit and there's rocks galore underneath all those sticks. What I'm thinking is, is this week, the weather is gonna be nice. I mean, real nice. Like, we're talking plus 10, plus 15 all week with scattered showers and such, which is really gonna get rid of a lot of this that you see here. Now I can tell the ground is still frozen because yesterday I had a lake forming where the pool is. You see that? I don't know if the camera picks up at that dip in the ground. Well, there used to be an underground pool there. You can see the circle outline of it, but that used to be a swimming pool and the plumbing actually, uh, anyway, whatever. It's all still there. You can pick it up with a metal detector. But what I'm thinking is, is the moment this snow clears here, I can get in there and at least whack the bramble because I have another method that I want to use for killing the roots. And no, it's not Agent Orange. If this week we can get rid of all that snow, I'm thinking next weekend is going to be when I begin the assault on the bramble and start killing that shit off. At least get the top layer gone as much as possible and then start, uh, you know, gradually digging and getting rid of the bottom because Jesus Murphy, that's a lot of bramble out there, boys. A lot of raspberry bushes. Mm -hmm. Scampers is getting cooked in this little bit of sunlight that's coming through the window. We're going to be heading off to the parents' house soon. Oh man, decided to get some clothes on because I was wearing my pajamas. Probably gonna put in a big workout tonight. But right now, I feel like a piece of cheese. So I was investigating different ways to deal with the roots for those raspberry bushes. And it seems the most effective is, is to pull them. The other way is, is chemicals, but here in Ontario, we can't really use a lot of the ones they're suggesting due to the whole, you know, no putting toxins in the ground. And one of them was 2,4-D, son of a bitch. Like, she's a small cat, but she can sure take up a lot of space. And now she's on the window where I can easily walk by. Moe's. Anyway, it's like two o'clock, so I'm gonna let the dog out. And then we're gonna head over to the parents' house, hang out there for a bit, have some dinner, just chillax, have an easy Sunday. Yeah, it's looking pretty good out there, eh? Next weekend for sure. We're gonna be able to strike, get those raspberry bushes all chopped down to size, and then, once the ground is completely thawed, we can dig them all up. The next weekend we deal. This weekend, we enjoy being the weekend. Let's get rolling to the parents' house. Oh, dad's uncovering the shrubberies. The shrubberies. This one here's still all tented up. It's camping. You guys saw my backyard and how little bit of snow I have, eh? Look at how much snow dad still has in his backyard. This is like a two and a half foot bank right here. Maybe even three feet tall. This is ridiculous. That's cut. Jesus, Murphy. Like the sun doesn't come back here or anything. Nope. It's crazy. So this is what I'm eating, guys. I don't know what my parents are having, but I'm eating this whole sea sucker. Gonna be good. They're having rabbit food. Oh, yes. Freaking meat. All right, guys, just got home. Not sure if it's safe to walk over there. Let's go take a quick little careful walk. Man, this ground is disgusting. Anyway, 
as you can see, all of this bramble going all the way back over to here. You know what? This stuff got all flattened. This is pretty good. This is all my yard, guys. All this. As far as the fence stops right there. Oh, there's chicken wire. Okay. Now, these are the trees. I was talking to Dad that I was thinking about taking down as these big dumb sons of bitches here. <sighs> just, just these ones. I was thinking about tearing them down. But there's chicken wire all along the side here. I guess that was his idea of, of a fence back in the day. Eh, it's functional, I guess. But I told Dad that I was thinking about coming out here and striking now that we actually have some exposure because everything is melting. And he told me to wait. Basically hold off because he's going to talk to a guy and see about renting one of those walk behind weed whackers. Is that a freaking couch back there? What the? What in the frick? You guys seen that too? Like, is that on my property? This guy, like, just shove a friggin' old dirty ass chair on my property? Like, what in the? Oh, we don't want to do a dump run. We're just gonna put our garbage on your friggin' lawn. Oh, here's the old stump, guys. Look at that. That's uh, getting pretty decrepit looking, eh? Yeah. Like, honestly, look at this. Why is there an old barrel? Like, yeah, okay, I, I get it. I don't come back in my yard often, but like... But like, there's like an old... An old shitty barrel back here. Oh, man. What the frig? <sighs> okay, well, whatever. It is what it is. At least I got my own lake. Yeah, friggin' recliner chair in it. Doesn't get any more hillbilly than that. Oh. Anyway. I should probably go in the house, let the dog out. I've been gone for five hours and he probably really has to rock one. That tree there is leaning big time. It's got to come down. But, I'm gonna head her inside here. Dodge all the dog shit. Oh man. Probably got about 12 pounds stuck underneath my foot. Well, let's go get the dog. So, with today being Easter, mom decided to hook a brother up. Got me some Easter stuff. Got me some pork chops. Put these bad mofos in the fridge. Got me some more pork, uh, some more, holy, some more pork chops. Toss these here up in the freezer too. Don't run away. And for snacks, she got me pork rinds, some more pork rinds, and two of these 90% cacao chocolate bars because I don't eat milk chocolate, right? Because not exactly keto friendly, so that's pretty sweet. Meanwhile, I'm like, Mom, you don't have to get me anything for Easter. Like, for me, Easter, all that stuff, uh, that's like a kid's thing, you know? Oh, and she got me another one of these scrubby brushes. I already got a scrubby brush. Pretty good, but she got me another one because you can't buy the... Ref it's so stupid. The dollar store sells it with the refillable on the side, but they don't sell the actual cartridges you can buy by themselves. You gotta buy a whole new kit. Okay, I'm coming. Jesus, Merkel, this dog. It's so demanding. I don't know, man. Buckstore needs to get their shit together. So it's about seven o'clock right now. Uh, I went over there for around two. Been there for five hours. Kind of sat outside and enjoyed it. It's pretty good. Reminded me of those summers, except we didn't get drunk. Anyway, I need some freaking water. Cause I'm all out of water. Why the hell is this chair turned around over here? That's weird. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, I don't recall ever 
And like Rex and I actually one year drove our tractors back there. I don't remember that barrel being there. It's like the guy behind me is accumulating a bunch of garbage. And rather than doing dump runs and throwing it out, he just like puts it on my lawn. Freaking degenerate. I should call the cops on him. Ah, today was a good day. It's like back in the day, you know. Sunday morning, get up, go to the parents' house, hang out, watch some hockey, watch Toronto lose, come home, chill out. Except for I'm like in the old days. Now I don't have a girlfriend here all bitchy and moany because I went to my parents' house. Yay! Honestly thinking guys, because I got home so late, I'm probably gonna skip out on the workout tonight. Get back into her tomorrow. I'm also thinking that tomorrow might be another five day fast. I don't know, we'll see. I do have those buns to kill, which I definitely want to use up because of the cost. So yeah, probably going to skip the workout tonight. Pretty sure that's going to be a thing. I was going to go downstairs and rock some hit and rock some, uh, I don't know what else. I was going to do some weights, I guess, but I'm thinking tonight I'm going to take a time out. You know, I've been working out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday last week, plus Sunday, Saturday, working out straight right through. So I figure one night off won't hurt. Let the body regenerate a bit and then uh, get back into it tomorrow. Probably a good idea. It's always good to have a day of rest. At least I think. Pretty sure. Could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. It is what it is. Alright guys. Where the hell did I put my belt? I took it off. Oh, I set it on my chair. Right now this belt is a little bit too long for me. Kind of funny, right? I just bought the damn thing. Basically, on the back side of the belt here, it's one of these ratchet belts. It's got a little ratchet line here and it's too long. I'm actually getting to the end of the belt and, and running out of space and there's a lot of overhang on it. So what I need to do is chop it. Now on the old belts, you'd chop it from the top. On this belt, you don't do that because you'll chop into the ratchet, which is right at the top. But what's nice is this buckle comes right off. Allow me to demonstrate here. All you gotta do is you flip this tab up and out she comes. Then, with a good pair of scissors, just select a length, cut it off. It's a little grabber teeth in there. You just make sure you insert it the right way, like so. And you now have a shorter belt. Sweet. Knock a little bit off, shorter belt. Weight loss progress is a thing. So a while ago when I came down here, I threw my hamburger buns in the freezer. Then I realized something. You know what guys? I don't think I'm gonna bother with the fasting this week. What I'm gonna do is go all day with no food, come home at night, work out, and then feast. Gonna do that for this week. We'll see what we do next week. When I was at my parents' house, mom was like, you know what? She's like, how much do you weigh? And I'm like, according to the doctor, 208. She's like, you're probably good. Like, you don't really need to lose any more weight. And I said, you know what? I'm kind of feeling the same way. Like right now, what I want to do is I want to get bigger and stronger, be able to move more weight, be more functional. Like I'm pretty functional as it is, but to be more functional would be pretty awesome. So where the hell did I put those buns? I think I put them in the cupboard. I just want to be able to like do more with myself come uh, come summer because I'm going to have my work cut out for me for all what I want to get done. Pretty sure I fire those in here. Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm telling you boys, the weight might be going, but so is my freaking memory. 208, feeling great. Now what I want to do, start putting on some mass as in some muscle. I'm not going to jump the calories up, but I am going to jump the protein intake up and see if we can build some lean muscle mass. That's going to be the battle plan. All big time. All right, guys, today was a shortened vlog because I went to my parents' house. We just kind of hung out and shot the shit and did things and uh, dinner and all that. And it wasn't very productive, but we're like nine minutes to 10. I need to get to bed. Tomorrow is a work day. It is Easter Monday, so I don't know what to expect. But I want to go in rested and ready to rock. So let's pitter patter, have at her. I'm going to shut her down. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.